All right, let's fix this heater and see if we can get it to work. What do you say? First thing is, if you're going to do something like this, of course, do it at your own risk. Um, this is just how I'm going to do it. So uh, if it helps you, maybe that might help you do your own if you wanted to. But again, like I said, that's all on you if you want to try it. Um, be careful. Make sure it's unplugged first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you first before I unplug it. Uh, what's it doing? This one here is I'm turning it on and you hear the hum but see that fan back there is not moving so it's heating up the elements and if I just leave it on like that it'll probably burn them up so it needs the fan blowing through it in order to keep the elements from overheating so we'll turn that back off it is getting warm but there's no air coming through it so what I'm going to do is take the back part of it off. So I'm going to disconnect the uh, plug again. Let's take these screws out here and we'll see why that motor isn't turning. My suspicion is that the oil has kind of run out of the in, out of the bearings and we can maybe fix that real quick. So let's just take these out. And I'll stop. So obviously this was a shop heater. Um, this is all dusty. So I'm going to go ahead and blow that out real good. Let's try it. All right, so I noticed after I blew it out, the fan spins nice and freely. Um, I'm sure that's what the problem was, is it would just, you know, not spinning freely. So uh, what I'm going to do is, I can see that there's a little bushing right here. There's a little brass bushing. Let me get you guys a little closer. Let me see here. How about, let's see. Yeah. I don't know if you can see there. There's a little brass bushing right there and you can see that right there and that little brass bushing what i'm going to do is lubricate it so i have some machine oil this is machine oil actually in here that's a little too much didn't want that much so what i don't want to have is this thing get hot and catch fire and that can happen so i'm going to take a rag and kind of wipe off all the excess here and work that into the end little motor a little pushing maybe that'll help it last a little bit longer and then I'll blow it out again to get all the excess out of here uh, before I plug that back in actually I didn't get that much um, it didn't get on the filaments down there it just kind of got all over the motor and I was able to wipe that off pretty good so I think that's good enough for me. So now it spins nice and free before it was kind of stuck. Uh, for sure that's probably all it was. Let's plug it in and check it. Well that stuff was flammable by you so <laughs> hopefully we don't have a little flame out here. Okay, let's try it. I'm kind of far away from it just in case. Here's the air first. Let's go for heat. Yeah, it's working. Fan's going good. There we go. Heat's working great. It's on uh, the highest temperature, 1500, nice and warm. So you can hear that fan. Let's listen to it a little close. Fans moving in there. That's all it was. Junk. You can find junk and turn it into something that works. Talk to you guys on the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Let's uh, check out this heater, man. Pretty cool. Talk to you in the next one.